What is going on YouTube? My name is Liam Page. Good to have you back for another video, a bit of a special one. Inside a storm drain here. One of my favorites, I don't really have a name for it, but it's one of my favorites. It is of course, wink wink, on private property. I would never venture into a public storm drain because I respect public works and respect the government and all its rules. Anyway, so this is a storm drain. Um, I came through that way, it's very large. You can get out this way, but you have to duck a lot, so I'm not gonna do that. It's maybe a 300 feet that way, and this isn't even the worst. This is maybe, you can see, four feet or so. You get to a spot, maybe another 200 feet into this one, where you have to crawl on your hands and knees. And that's hell, I don't wanna do that. So, I'm kinda of doing it backwards. This is the bigger one. I only have to really duck my head a little to get through this. So I walked all the way in, basically to the end of the storm drain, and now I'm gonna backtrack all the way out. And uh, you'll notice I'm not wearing a helmet. I left it <laughs> halfway down there. I went for a pit stop and you know had something to drink. So I'm gonna go grab my helmet. Don't forget your helmet. It's very important when you're in a storm drain, which brings me to don't forget your lights either. I've got, oops, headlamp which is gonna die. Flashlight and two more flashlights in my backpack. I usually just keep extra flashlights. Some people recommend keeping extra batteries. The way I see it, if a flashlight breaks, at least I have the extra flashlight body. Um, and you know, if my batteries run out in one, I can just swap them out from the other. But with that being said, you know, you don't want to have four flashlights that are all on low battery. That would be tragic. So keep that in mind. Anyway, so this is kind of like a cool intersection in the storm drain because this path leads you out. This path leads you in, probably about a quarter mile walk through that. This one, I've crawled through before. It's not, it's very, you know, if you think crawling on your hands and knees is unpleasant. You have to crawl through this one on your belly. It's very unpleasant. I did get to the end, I don't know if you can see it down there. About 30 or 40 feet down, it ends. And there are, people have gotten in there before. There's a little room, kind of like this one, a rectangular prism. You get into it and <laughs> there's all these things about like, there's strong and then there's army strong. Like you army crawled all the way here. It's a good time. There's this ladder which leads up to the surface world. And then this one, which I've never crawled up because, while well, I'm sure I can fit, I see no light at the end. And it's, like I said, it's not a good time. So, I think I'm going to cut, try not to do a ton of quick cuts in my videos, but I think I'm going to do one here because I'm probably going to want to speed it up. It's very difficult to see what's going on inside the tunnel as I'm walking through because it's so dark. So... second tunnel. So the construction of this storm drain, catch my breath a bit. <laughs> it's gonna be harder to see because this one's much darker. But this is a room much like the other one. It's a rectangular prism. Yeah. This storm drain that I entered through leads into this one, which I'm going to exit through. Hope you can see that on film. <laughs> well, I hope you can see this on film, but maybe you get the idea. This storm drain's made up of lengths of pipe, like this. Yeah, it's 
it's almost impossible to get on video. It's very difficult. Basically, it's made up of a small tubes that connect these big rectangular prism. And sometimes you'll have more than one tube leading into one of the prisms or rooms, whatever you want to call it. So here you have this little one, and then this might be hard to pick up on camera, but somebody drew a shoe sticking out of this tube, which I think is hilarious. There's also a baby camel in here, which if you're into graffiti, you'll know baby camel is like a very prolific um, graffiti artist here in the Bay Area. Um, I'm not too big into graffiti, but my friend has uh, kind of told me some of the lore of baby camel. It's very interesting. And I think the fact that you find them down here in a storm drain, you know, probably uh, three, four, five hundred at least feet from the nearest entrance is a lot of fun. So this is one of my favorite storm drains. My friends took me here um, when I was like 15 or something. I was just getting into them and my friends found this one first and then my friend Tony brought me here and it was just an amazing experience. I love, you know, urban caving. I love it. So like I said, I left my helmet in this first room. Whoops. Headlight on first. I left my helmet here because on the way in I stopped to have a little sip and a little rest. Take my helmet off and let my head air out a bit. But it's very, very important that you wear a helmet if you're ever going to do anything like this. So you can do dumb shit like this. Ugh. Crack your fucking head against the wall and not actually crack your skull. <laughs> All right, room three. It's only about 20 feet from the, uh, so hard. I need to get in here with like huge floodlights, but maybe 20 feet or so from the last room, you get to room three. Also has a ladder. Ladder, <laughs> hard to see. Also has a ladder and a tunnel that goes up. Room three. And of course, lots of profanity all over the storm drains. That's not nice. I'm sure Zach's a very nice guy. Well. So this is why you gotta wear helmets. Part, it's gonna be hard to pick up on camera, but this storm drain connects to this room about six feet off the ground. So if you're in a rush or you're coming from the other side and you haven't been all the way through yet, be very easy to just fall six feet on the concrete you know because there's just you know like I said it's hard to pick up on camera but this little edge here drops six feet down you know you see that about six feet so you have to use the ladder to get down there right and this isn't even the worst coming up in the next room or the one after that there's like a about a ten foot drop right so you gotta be careful in these things and I'm, you know, <laughs> it's ironic I say that because I'm no trained expert, but, you know, I keep safety in mind, at least. It's very important. So also, there's the drop. Maybe you can see it a bit from the bottom here. Drop, maybe not even six, more like five, but still, not something you'd want to fall. But this little room is covered in profanity, but mostly covered in fish. And the walls are completely painted blue, and it's called the Aquarium by uh, Upfuck. <laughs> but I think this this is one of the magical things. This wasn't in here, if I remember correctly, when I first came in when I was 15. But the last, more recently, when I've come in, there's all these fish. The whole thing's painted blue. You know, it's it's really cool. It's like you know. I mean, how many people know about this, you know? Now, now all of YouTube does because of me, but you know, you know what I mean? Like, people are going about their day-to-day -day lives up there on the road, and, you know, nobody's thinking, oh, there's a, you know, there's an aquarium painted underground, you know? Who would ever think that? Nobody, not me. <laughs> I was shocked when I found it. And it's just, it's awesome. I mean, look, water, you got somebody drew like a, a little fish, water. <laughs> You got a little water on the ground, actually, which is funny. I love the aquarium. It's 
it's my happy place, maybe you could say. <laughs> I lost count for a sec, but if the aquarium was room four, this is room five. <laughs> room five. This is a hole. A lot of fun. Once again, this is of course a private storm drain. I would never go in a public storm drain. So then from room five, this will actually be good. It gives you a better idea what the rooms are like. So it's a small concrete box. They often have some kind of access point with a ladder. Oh look, I forget the name, but this is a real popular um, little caricature that you'll see around in California too. It's cool too, it looks beautiful. So, you know, that's where I'm going. That's where I came from. Let's do it. So I don't know how well this will pick up on video, but... <laughs> See, that's why you gotta be careful. That's about, you know, I'm about five foot ten. It's just at the tips of my fingertips up there, so... You know, you do not want to fall down that. <laughs> I actually ripped my pants once climbing up the ladder and then stepping over. I spread way too wide and ripped my inseam. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, uh, that was fun. <laughs> anyway, so this must be room six, right? On to room seven. Walk. And this one also has a very dangerous ledge. So be careful. Room seven is just another room that is very, very hard to see. So just know that I'm in room seven. And I think there's just one more room left before... The big room, which is the up ground earth. The above ground world. Head into the last room. Here it is, can you see some I smell cigarettes, that's scary. So here it is, the eighth and final room. You can see sunlight peeking through. I climbed on this. Can you see that? A ladder. You can't really see it, but you climb down the ladder, you get to the eighth room. And then the sun and the above ground awaits. So there it is, the outside world. Like I said, I can smell cigarette smoke, so there might be somebody hanging out out there. Hopefully not a police officer. <laughs> Only one way to find out, though. And so I actually decided I'm going to cut the video off there because I don't want it to be too apparent where the entrance to this storm drain is. Um, because like I said, it's of course on private property and I can't have my private storm drain being found. Anyway, with that being said, if you'd like to know where this storm drain is, you're welcome to hit me up in private messages. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If not, feel free to give it a thumbs down. I know it's probably pretty hard to see. It's a very dark video, but nonetheless. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If you've ever been in this storm drain and you recognize the aquarium, definitely let me know in the comments. Other than that, much love for everybody watching and for humanity in general. And I hope you're having an amazing, oh yeah, I forgot, happy Thanksgiving. Hope everybody's having an amazing Thanksgiving.